you go to the um, Oval Edge website and you go on their blog section, you'll find one of the, the latest articles will address some of the points that we're actually talking about right now. So how to build this business case. And uh, not only that, but Shard also put together this, this beautiful guide, which you can download for free, which goes into quite you know a lot of detail to really guide you on, on how you could build a wonderful business case for your data governance program. And it has even examples and types of questions that you can ask and uh, on, on all these different areas. So it can really get easier than this, as you can see. So I, I definitely urge you to take a look at ovaledge.com slash blog. Look at the uh, latest, one of the latest articles that addresses this topic here and just download it and uh, use it as a starting point. Yeah, it's a very, very valuable resource. So it's so much detail in there, so much insight. I think it's valuable for any data professional out there. I found it astounding. So thank you very much for creating that, Sharad. We, we took a lot, lot of time and uh, knowledge within our you know, company and uh, as well as our customers. Like, okay, how do you really build this use cases? And these are like a, some customer is doing A way, some, some is B way. And then we're trying to kind of consolidate all these problem areas and kind of created one spreadsheet. And it's a simple spreadsheet which have all the, I think it, the first thing it asks you to do the survey within your um, within your business community to get that what can the survey can give you the result. And the survey is very simple that it's give you the, pro, the, the name and you know what the question you should ask. So you should ask these questions from your business executives and they will give you some ideas. So that becomes your starting point. Then comes to the pain point survey. The pain point survey is the second one, which have identified the pain points of three individuals, three individual like business user personas, data professionals, and the third one is the data, data governance. Management, yeah. yeah, data management professionals. So you will identify these problems. Of course, they can have their more more problems, but we, it's like a starting point. So even it's a good you know, start. Yeah, <laughs> it's a good starting point. Uh, otherwise, you ask them what the problem it is, and then and whatever the first problem they comes up, they always give you that example. And a lot of things in the you know you kind of lose that uh, momentum uh, when you are taking the survey. So take then and then now they can check box that. Once you consolidate this and then basically create the framework, then you can use this implementation framework of this, that this is the various data governance guidelines. That's how do you create, how do we implement the data governance? What are the different yeah. use cases you should use it? So based on the problems you are getting from your audience and the business case, you identify, okay, let's identify, like for example, data quality is a big problem. Then you identify the data quality implementation let's implement the data quality first if you identify the data literacy is a problem then you identify the data literacy first or the data access is a problem then you do it so based on that you can imp start implementing a use case at a time and then you start yeah. building that so it's a very step by step process uh, you can you you just have to follow this and of course use your you know the, within the process and you can build a business case very easily with that